Hello friends, in this video, I will explain the properties of ratios. Let us assume we have a ratio A by B or A colon B. So the first property is the value of the ratio does not change when the numerator and the denominator, numerator and denominator both are multiplied by same quantity. Suppose we have the ratio a by b. So if you multiply numerator and denominator by the same number, so the ratio is not going to be changed. For example, you are multiplying both the numerator and denominator by m, a m and b m. So the value of the the value of the ratio is not going to be changed. So here I am multiplying with l numerator and denominator. So here you are multiplying the numerator and denominator by k. So the value of the ratio is never going to be changed if you multiply numerator and denominator by the same value. Let's take another. So we have a by b as a ratio. If we divide numerator and denominator with the same number or same quantity, so the value of the ratio is not going to be changed. For example, a by m by b by m. So this is also equivalent to the ratio a by b. So this is a by l by b by l equivalent to a by k by b by k. So if the numerator and denominator are divided by the same number or same quantity, then the ratio is not going to be changed. Okay. The next one is the ratios of two fractions can be expressed in ratio of integer. For example, we have two ratios that is a by b and b by c or uh, some c by d. So this one can be expressed like x by y. So the ratio of two fractions, these are the first fraction or second fraction or the ratio of two ratios can be expressed in ratio of integer. Otherwise, the ratio of two fractions, okay, this is one fraction and this is one fraction, can be expressed in terms of the ratios of the integers, where x comma y. Let's take one example. For example, you have 3 by 4 by 5 by 4. So this one can be expressed like 3 by 4 into 4 by 5 equivalent to 3 by 5. Okay, 4, 4 cancel. So here we have one fraction, here we have another fraction. So this the ratio of the two fractions expressed in terms of the ratio of the two integers. Okay. Next one. If a by b is the ratio, then if a or b is a ratio then a square by b square is called as duplicate, is called as duplicate and a cube by b cube is called as triplicate, is called as triplicate and a to the power of 1 by 2 by b to the power of 1 by 2 is called as subduplicate. Subduplicate. And a to the power of 1 by 3 by b to the power of 1 by 3 is called as subtriplicate. Subtriplicate. Okay. So the first one is if you multiply the numerator and denominator of the ratio, the value is not going to be changed. And the second one is if you divide the numerator and denominator by the same number, so the ratio is not going to be changed. So the ratio of the two fractions can be expressed in terms of ratio of two integers. And third one is, the next one is if a by b is the ratio, then a square by b square is called as a duplicate a cube by b cube is called as a triplicate a to the power of 1 by 2 by b to the power of 1 by 2 is called as a subduplicate 
a cube a to the power of 1 by 3 by b to the power of 1 by 3 is called as a subtriplicate so these are all the properties of ratios thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel